Hey guys and welcome to another polymer clay tutorial. Today we will create the whole skeleton army from Clash Royale. You wouldn't believe it, but it all starts with a paper clip, a paper clip and the pliers. The reason is pretty simple. I was looking for an easy way for you guys and also for me that I can produce a lot of skeletons and that they all would have the same body size. So I decided let's use some paper clips for that. I just used um, the super glue for fixing of the wire so that the body wire and the leg wire part isn't moving too much. This will be the arms and I'm coating it into some white clay and I'm using my scalpel for cutting these arms again. And well, now I'm doing just some um, modeling in my fingers so that there are no sharp edges, so that the arms look pretty nice. The same also with the body. And then we are almost done with the body part of the first skeleton. I really want to thank you all guys for all of your suggestions for um, tutorials I could make um, in the whole world of Clash Royale and also um, Clash of Clans and I really loved all your suggestions. I decided to go with the skeletons next after the giant because um, <laughs> I was looking for a counter card um, against the giant and so of course we have to go with the epic card of the skeleton army. While I'm preparing the ribs and I'm attaching them to the body, I would like to know and please participate in this poll which figure should be next from Clash Royale. <laughs> so this is the skull. It's pretty simple. You just start with this cube and after that a thin layer of white clay for the face, for the front part of the face, the teeth. And you can just put it on top and this will be the left eye, the right eye and the nose of course. And for filling I'm using just some black clay. So this is pretty simple. Well, the nose is a bit tricky because you need a very thin and tiny piece of black clay. And after that, we can start working on the feet. These will be the knees. And we can put together the shoulder part and the body part and also the feet onto a plate. And um, well, <laughs> this is just some detail work on the toes, or at least the bones in the toes. And this will be the right hand. It's pretty difficult as it is that tiny, but it's always the same technique. Um, I don't care if it's a big hand or a small hand, just make always the same technique just attaching it to the body and now we can attach the skull to the body of the skeleton what we need of course a weapon so this is the sword this skeleton has in its hand this is the hand piece of the skeleton uh, <laughs> of the sword sorry and we're ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked skeleton. The next working step is, of course, the painting. I thought this skeleton just looks too clean, so I decided to take black and white acrylic paint um, and mixing with just some water and this 
dirty water is soaking into every gap and it emphasizes um, all the bones and the ribs so perfectly. So I really love this method. Just gluing the sword into the hand and this is the first one. Now that we finished the first skeleton, we can start with the mass production. And for that we need some more paper clips and some more clipping. And then we can start producing all the um, wire skeletons, gluing them together. You can also leave that out, the part with the super glue, but I recommend that. So next part is coating and well this is what it looks like when you produce 12 skeletons all the same time. These are the hip bones and these will be all the ribs. It is a lot of fun but it was so much work. It took me I think uh, three hours for all of the skeletons. Yeah, these will be uh, the skulls. This is also pretty funny if you're creating that much um, faces and skulls at the same time. And um, yeah, <laughs> I'm very looking forward to see the end result. I used just some plates um, and a cup which I could um, place the skeletons right next to. And these will be all the swords. Pretty great on uh, building all these swords <laughs> and that much. Okay, after baking in the oven we can start gluing. I'm using just some sandpaper for the edges on the swords. I left that step out on the first skeleton, but afterwards I um, always used that because it looks nice on the swords. And now the painting and finally that's it! I know you've been waiting for this for a long time, me too, so let's fetch the giant and let's have a big fight against the skeleton army. Hey skeletons, I'm the giant! Oh f <laughs> Okay, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!